if you're depressed, then this video is for you because I've got a really, really important message for you to hear. And that is depression doesn't last forever. When you're in it, it feels like it will. It feels like your life will just continue to be miserable and abhorrent for the rest of your time on planet Earth. I know I've been there, but what I'm telling you is it doesn't last forever. Nothing does, not even the sun. The sun will eventually explode or whatever it does. It goes into some white dwarf or whatever. Basically, nothing lasts forever. And that's what I wanted to tell you about depression because like I said, I've been there. During my time at university, I was ultra, ultra, super depressed, about literally as depressed as you can get. And every day was just getting out of bed, didn't want to do it, just hated the world, just hated everything. And I was just miserable, hated myself, everything. So I went from that to now feeling all right. It took me a long time and I'm actually going to tell you how to do that. I'm going to tell you how you can actually get better because a lot of these people, when they talk about things like this online, they'll be like, oh, come on, you know, you just have to write down the things that you're grateful for. And it's like, when you're depressed, you're not grateful for anything. <laughs> like, you just don't even, you don't even want to exist. So it's just like, no, I'm not going to give you that generic bait, dead advice about writing a gratitude diary, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to give you some stuff that's actually helped me and actually works. So keep watching because I'm going to say that in a moment. But yeah, when I was in university, super, super down, super, super depressed, I was really going through it. But at the time, my friends were telling me, oh, like, you know, like there is a way out, especially Greg. He was like, yeah, like there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Nothing um, ever lasts forever. Like, yeah, this will pass. And I was like, oh, my days like this is it's never going to pass. Like, I'm going to feel like this forever because I was so deep in it and for so long as well, like. That, that depression lasted for a long while, like three years. So it was, yeah, I really didn't think that there was a way out. Um, so that's why I'm really telling you that there is, because nowadays, like for the first time in a long time, I actually feel good. So, and it's crazy because it's almost like when I look back on it, it's like I was a different person. So this is the thing. I want to tell you that there is a way out of it. And I also want to suggest ways that you can get yourself out of it. And it's you that has to get yourself out of it. This is the thing. Other people can't get you out of it. Other people can help. And in my case, for example, like I had a really amazing group of friends who really, really helped me get out of it. They, they gave me the most encouragement to get out of it. And in a way, I almost, yeah, I, I owe my recovery to them. But at the same time, there was a lot of self-work that had to be done to use a very cliche expression, um, it's, a, a, again, along the same lines of, come on, write a, write a gratitude diary, or you have to do the self-work, but you do, you actually do have to do the self-work, like, you have to get yourself out of it, because it's you, and it's your mental state, so you need to do some stuff to get yourself out of it, so I'm going to tell you what you can do. The first thing is go to a therapist, get therapy, see someone, because this is the most important thing, because it will help you to untangle all the reasons why you feel depressed, make sense of them, and then deal with them. That's the key. When you're depressed, it's like loads of different things at once. It's all of these different things just contributing to your depression. So it helps you. So it's almost like the, um, what's, that, what's that in that famous mythical story of that knot that couldn't be undone? I can't remember what it's called. And then some guy comes along with a sword and then just cuts through it. Like that's what therapy is like. It's a knot, like your depression is like that knot that can't be undone. No one can untie it, not even you. And then therapy, bang, it's the sword that just cuts through it and then it solves it. Like you can finally then detangle it and then see each thread for what it is and then deal with it. Because that's the key. Like you have to take responsibility and you have to just deal with it because I'm really not with this whole new age social media thing of, oh, come on, accept your depression. Like, oh, it's okay not to be okay. Oh, come on, you know, like wearing it as a badge, as if it's some kind of achievement to be depressed. It's not, it's not an achievement to be depressed. It fucking sucks. So it's like, don't adopt, don't let social media suck you into that. Okay. Cause it's not good. And you know, it's not good. And I don't know why so many people do it. I think the reason why so many people do it is because it's easier to not deal with it than it is to deal with it. Because obviously if you're dealing with it and if you're going to therapy, you've got to deal with the demons from the past and you've got to come face to face with them and you've got to, you've got to vanquish them. You've got to kind of settle that beef with the demons. But yeah, like it's, it's tough to do that and you've got to be very honest with yourself and not a lot of people want to do that. However, 
this is what you need to do because you have to you you have to put in the work with the therapy you have to get the help and really it's not even you putting in any work like the 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 hardest bit is just getting there once you're there then the therapist will help you the therapist will um basically be able to just yeah like i said declutter and untangle your mind it will take a little bit of work it's never going to happen straight away on the first session but eventually you'll start to think about you'll start to you'll start to feel a little bit more lucid about the things that were stressing you out and then you can deal with them and then once you've had that experience once you've been to therapy like i said then you work on them so you work on the things that were getting you down you work on the things that were putting putting you in that state of depression and then yeah you work on them and that's how you get out of it like that is really like that's essential you have to you have to go to therapy like it's it's not negotiable you have to do it because through that you work through all of those subconscious burdens you'll work through all of those things that get you down and you don't even know why um you'll resolve past traumas that might be contributing to your depression you'll resolve current conflicts that might be contributing to your depression it's really good and it's really useful you have to do it so that's the first thing the second thing is i would recommend getting a hobby or some kind of something that you are passionate about and the reason why i say that is because once you have something to to focus on in that kind of way then not only does it help to take your mind off of your depression in that moment cuz say for example i'm really into working out i'm really into rollerblading and when i'm doing those activities and playing guitar when i'm doing those activities i don't think about anything like even when i was like super super depressed i wasn't thinking about the things that i was depressed about while i was doing them cuz i was actually just too involved in what i was doing it's almost like a, a meditation so that really really helps for that short term relief <clears throat> and secondly um having some kind of hobby or some kind of something that you really enjoy that's constructive it kind of gives you a purpose and that's really important because like i said before when you're depressed it's kind of like you feel like life has no purpose you feel like life is just going to be terrible forever and you feel like there's no point in doing anything and you don't have the motivation to do anything and it's just like but if you've got something that you're you you've got like a hobby that you're interested in or you're passionate about then it kind of gives you a po- a purpose to focus on it's like a light at the end of the tunnel because again when you're depressed it feels like the future is so bleak but if you've got a nice little light in the future to guide you and to keep you like to you see that light at the end of the tunnel you'll be like okay at least there's something there's something enjoyable for me in the future if i keep working at this this little hobby or this craft then i'm going to get more skilled at it i'm going to be like i'm going to love where i'm at because i've worked really hard to get to this level and i'm going to feel good about myself like i'll i'll have actually accomplished something so that can help as well um and the last one is a little bit controversial i stopped watching the news <laughs> because yeah the news is actually one of the most depressing things you can lay your eyes on in today's modern age like it's just absolutely it makes you think that the world is actually hell like there's nothing there's never anything positive in the news unless it's just some like random irrelevant sporting achievement from some cricket player that you just don't care about and it's like okay like it just makes you feel like the world is going to end imminently there's no hope and it's like if you're depressed like hope is what you need that's why I'm that's why I'm making this video because I'm just like you need the hope you need to know that there's stuff to look forward to you need to know that you can get out of it you need to know that it's not permanent but if the if the news is just telling you oh god the world is miserable oh it's going to be miserable forever it's just like and you're reading that every day you're going to yeah you're going to start thinking wow this world sucks and there are actually a lot of very buff things to enjoy in this world so it's like yeah i stopped watching it you, i'm not telling anyone to to stop watching the news or whatever but me personally i did and that's done a lot i I casually kind of glance over some stuff every now and then just so that i'm in the loop however i'm not sitting there like avidly reading and consuming this super negative super super negative energy because that's that's really what it is like it's just it's just peak like it just makes you feel so dead inside um so yeah that's one thing that i did that really helped me as well if you are going through depression you can get yourself out of it this is the main thing nothing lasts forever you can do it you actually can you just have to do it this is the key you actually just have to do it so get yourself booked in for some therapy if you are depressed i hope that helped and yeah good luck you can do it trust me you can do it